Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Riquitotted. It's a random quick tutorial of the day. So today we're going to talk a little bit about a Minecraft pig and how we can multiply it and make it move and maybe explode and come back together in Blender. So the version of Blender we're using today is version 2.81a. And you can see here, I'm just scrolling around and looking at the pig from a few different angles. Uh, now I'm going to quickly show you how I imported it. I uh, got a free 3D model from one of those websites and uh, I got a, I believe it was an FBX version of this, uh, which had a few extra things in there, uh, including some rigging. So in order to get rid of that, I dropped all that stuff. I set up the rest of it as a, uh, as a single file. I didn't need all that rigging and re-exported it as an OBJ file and then re-imported it. And that allowed me to keep all the, uh, the materials, the colors, um, along with it without having to do, deal with too much fuss to uh, pull out all that rigging or mess around with it too much. I'm going to quickly animate this pig before I do anything else with it with scripting. So here you can see on the bottom, I've uh, pulled up the, the animation uh, section and, uh, and by clicking on record uh, and then adding a few keyframes uh, by either right clicking or uh, just clicking on those frame numbers and then changing the, the uh, position, either the, the, the actual position of the pig or uh, its rotational position. And moving that around allows me to animate that, uh, that pig in a small 120 frame sequence. Then I'm going back into the scripting tab and clicking on run script after I've changed the name of this variable on top here to the name of the object that, uh, that contains this pig. And by doing that and clicking on it a few times, you can see that I am randomly multiplying the number of pigs and randomly orienting them around a single plane. And if you animate the pig before you multiply it, you can see it makes some pretty cool effects. And here you can see it's exploding and multiplying the pig into many more pigs and then bringing it all back together. And here I'm just going to quickly show you how I might create a, a sort of a, a Minecraft block field sort of uh, look to, uh, to the plane, to just underneath the plane where the, where the pigs are, just by simply creating one block of green. I'm doing that by adding a mesh, and that mesh uh, is a cube. Uh, and then I'm resizing that cube and going to the materials uh, section on the right and changing the color of it to green. Then after I do that, I find out what the name of that cube is in the scene collection on the upper right. And I'm going back to the scripting tab and changing that variable name of the object that I want to multiply out and, and changing it to that and then clicking on run script. And you can see if I click on run script a few times, it makes more and more randomly oriented cubes on that plane just below where the pigs are at. And if any of this has gone by a little too quickly, uh, keep in mind most of this was uh, done at 2x speed, uh, just so you wouldn't have to be bored to death watching every little step. But for those of you who want to go back and look at the details, uh, this is pretty high resolution, pretty high frame rate. So you can go and use YouTube's feature to, uh, to show it at half speed uh, and catch some of those details about some of the buttons and the tabs that I'm clicking on. Some of you may be here for the first time, and if so, please hit subscribe. Uh, for the rest of you, please hit like and comment, and thanks for being here.